Alright everybody, so this is a real Pahaska TP review. As all the other ones I found on YouTube, I thought to be very misleading. Up these stairs, this is the room we stayed in. You actually share a lodge with five other people. Four rooms on the bottom, one on top. We picked one on the bottom. Two queen size beds. Look at the size of the keys. And this is what the rooms actually look like. There's your beds. Now, I'm the one that made those beds, not them. So don't blame them on that. We've been here for three days and I kind of made a mess of it. Come over here, of course. A little closet with a safe in there. That actually came in handy more than you would think. Decent sized desk. Move the chair back where we found it. So that was actually really nice. Went and did some of the stuff that they have in these books over in Cody and went down and checked out all the sites. That was really amazing. Bathroom after we were done with it. Actually has a decent sized shower and the water here tastes amazing. Like just the water anywhere in any of the fountains just tastes amazing. You don't even have to bring water, it tastes that good. Just fill up your bottles and you are set. So this is an actual room. It does not have a fridge, does not have a microwave, does not have AC, but trust me, you do not need AC. Open that window and you're freezing. It gets perfect, just perfect. A little picture of bears. I ran into a bear. They do not look like that. It was very misleading. This is more appropriate. That's what a bear looks like. All right. Go check out. I'd have to say this was probably one of the funnest little log cabins I've stayed in. There's that door and then this door so you're not walking right out your door into a, a mess of beasts. Over there's the reunion lodge. That does have all the amenities. That's got a full kitchen, AC, half a dozen rooms if not more. The room upstairs has quite a bit going on. It does have air conditioning. They have a few lodges like this. You have that one there, two over there, one down this way. Head down. Oh, by the way, the road's all paved. It's not rock. That's where they stay, people that run the place. This is another lodge. Services. All of those units have one on the front and one on the back. That large building over there is the museum, Buffalo Bill Museum. And those units over behind that wagon, those are standalones. They're not attached to anything else, so you don't have neighbors to deal with. These little guys have been everywhere. Little pop gets. It's been an incredible journey up here. It's absolutely beautiful. You're probably being blinded by the sun. I went horseback riding twice myself. It was completely worth it. There they are. You got Ray, the real McCoy, is William, his employee, and I rode Axel. That was a really awesome horse. Oops. Went clear back there, up on those hills. Across the river. It was amazing. I absolutely advise you do that. There is zip lining. You take the road. Just head that way, east. It'll be on your south side of the road. About 75 bucks a person. Five different zip lines. Over 900 feet in the air, or 900 feet distance. And then at the end, a 35 foot drop. That's the museum again. A little bear in the front. Yeah, once again, this is all paved. 
This has been paved for a while. They haven't had proper reviews in a couple, a couple months, I'd say. A couple years, maybe. The restaurant over there, I would say, is about four star. Because five star is too expensive. And the burgers they have, the half pound burger was fantastic. I'm gonna be having breakfast here. And we were maybe 10 minutes outside of Yellowstone. So everybody's saying it's an hour drive. That was a lie. It's an hour drive to get to Cody. They have gas stations, little grocery store, and they're checking out. <laughs> 